And take three. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, let's see what we have. This is for Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Sun, and Rising, Venus. This is for Tuesday, December the 10th, 2019. Gonna be doing it like this for a while. See how you guys like the sound here. So let's see what messages we have. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Messages, guidance for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Got it. See my guitars. Some of them rising. Okay. All right, Taurus. Y'all ain't doing too much talking, but y'all look like y'all making some money. All right. Angel of Finances. It says, honor and give thanks for the blessings you are about to receive. Okay. Getting that money, honey. Let's see what messages we have for Capricorn. What messages, what guidance do we have for Capricorn? Some of rising means. What messages, what guidance do we have for Capricorn? All right, Capricorn, we have goddess, I mean, we have angel of self-worth. It says you are currently undervaluing yourself. It's time to regain your self-worth. What messages do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? All right. Virgo, we have angel of families. It says the, the angels surround both you and your family at the moment. We have angel of addiction healing for all of my earth signs. So this says this is a time of positive transformation and healing. Some of you guys could be overcoming or ending some codependent or addictive traits. But like I was saying that for an infomercial. All right. <laughs> so let's see what messages we have. This is for Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Some of y'all might be up watching infomercials, needing to get some sleep. Y'all worried in your head. That may be the codependent traits you got. Stuck off in your head. What messages? I don't know who that's for, but you know who it's for. What messages do we have? The Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the 10th, 2019. Messages, guidance. The Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What you doing? Mm hmm. Huh? What? ABC Kids? ABC Kids? ABC Kids? Thank you. What messages do we have for Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? This is for December the 10th, 2019. What guidance, what messages do we have for Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Just saw Gemini, our lover's card. So some of you guys could be making a decision, could be dealing with Gemini. Okay. Coming to my lover, all of this stuff. Ooh, you definitely could. This is just a, hold on. Hold on, is this? It's big, too. Anyway, <laughs> put it right there. All right, so Ace of Wands here. I feel like for some of you guys, you could have um, a new opportunity. Ace of Wands could represent God coming down Himself and handing you a brand new life basically you extending that olive branch to a new life to you um this could be a new passionate start so with the strength here it could be dealing with the leo could have a new passion start with the leo or someone has found the strength to extend uh, an olive branch but the high priest is here someone could be in a space of trusting their own intuition not speaking what they know but maybe acting on it with justice here so someone is making a just decision. I told you with the decision, if somebody's making a decision here, Queen of Swords, I'm trying to tell you someone is being fair, making a just decision for themselves, seeing things realistically. Seven of Pentacles, now someone is in the space of maybe ready to invest, maybe at a space, someone's at a temporary pause in action will because some things are changing. So there's a change that is happening that is bringing about this new passionate opportunity. Come on with it. That's all I'm going to say. Let me shuffle these cards. All right, so strength here. Why is the strength here? Ace of Pentacles. So somebody has the strength to, I think, move into a new life. I do. Ooh, Ace of Cups. Yo. Ace of Wands. Ace of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. So I saw it. Because I saw it. Yet. So, um, whatever this is, <laughs> it's beautiful for one. Um, I feel like someone has the potential of just like a whole new world. 
I'm not going to sing it. <laughs> but someone does have the potential for a whole new world. A whole new world. I had to sing it. Anyway, Six of Pentacles here. I do feel like someone is working to balance out a situation, investing, because this is still Seven of Pentacles. So someone could be investing into something at a temporary pause in action while things come into fruition. I do feel like this is a new opportunity for someone. I feel like there is going to be some good news. So with the high priestess here, why is this high priestess here? So four pentacles, some of you guys, someone could be holding back some news, page of cups, holding back some inspiration. Hermit here very much with, within themselves. I feel like there's an offer here. But someone is very much in a space of holding back or holding it in. I feel like someone is, is in a space of keeping it quiet. Um, for some of you guys, this may be a surprise. This could be a new person. Someone could be holding back their feelings inside. Hermit here in contemplation here. I feel like high priestess, they know what needs to be done. Someone here is finding the motivation to move forward here. I feel like you, either you're dealing with the Capricorn or you're dealing with any any uh, earth sign. But Queen of Pentacles says Capricorn, but it could be a feminine earth sign. But I feel like here someone is holding back their truths, holding back internal knowledge. But I don't feel like it's bad. Um, I feel like it's solid. It's some sort of inspiration someone's holding within themselves or a feeling. Someone could just be holding their feelings within themselves. So justice here could be dealing with the Libra. Six of Cups here. Um, this could be bringing balance to past situations. Page of Wands here. Good news for that. Knight of Swords. Someone's moving forward. So someone's bringing balance to a past situation by moving away from it. Nine of Cups allowing their... Someone's allowing their 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 concerns to fade away with the past because they know what makes them happy. Check out the air sign reading. I definitely got that in the air sign, but someone knows what makes them happy. So someone's in a space of really staying focused and doing what is fair and just for that. So Queen of Swords here could be dealing with an air sign. Queen of Swords is a Libra. And I do have justice up there. So some of you guys could definitely be dealing with a Libra or taking on that energy. Page of Swords here, Three of Wands here. Someone's speaking their truth. Someone's establishing their strength. They're speaking their truth. Judgment here. Someone's making the judgment, and it's going to bring balance here. King of Swords. Chitin, I'm trying to tell you, King, Queen of Swords. This is a, this is a talk. Like, there's a discussion here, and this discussion is about planting seeds. It's about setting seeds. This is a brand new opportunity here. Why is this Seven of Pentacles here as the outcome? Two of Swords here. I do feel like someone's restoring peace to anxiety here. Queen of Swords here by speaking their truth. So the thing about it is, I feel like someone does have conflicts because there are some responsibilities here. There are some responsibilities that are conflicting a situation. So someone is at a temporary pause in action. Someone is at uh, having mental conflict that is causing or creating cruelty. But I feel like Queen of Swords, someone is going to make a decision to cut that away. Someone may be making a decision to cut away the Seven of Pentacles. So someone has had anxiety and, and has been at a stalemate. I feel like with the Seven of Pentacles, there's going to be an investment that is made, whether it's a verbal investment or a physical investment, to where someone is cutting away something from the past in order to bring new seeds or sow new seeds within the situation. I do feel like there's going to be a temporary pause and action toward this Ace of Wands new opportunity here. And I do feel as though someone is keeping some things inside of themselves. But I also feel as though someone is in a space of, of really investing in, in a new opportunity or investing into a new life. So let's see here. Let's see. What messages do we have for my earth signs? Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, New Moon. I'm trying to tell you. All right, so give me guidance for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We have Sanctuary. So Taurus, either you have found Sanctuary within something. Y'all, I'm sorry, it's so bright. But either you have found sanctuary within something or someone has found sanctuary within you. Sanctuary talks about feeling safe, feeling protected, okay? Free as well, it looks like. So let's see what messages we have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We have completion. So Capricorn, you could be in a space of completing a cycle. Full Moon does talk about completion here. Release, most definitely in the space of releasing. What messages do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What messages do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? 
movement. So Virgo, I feel like you're in a space of moving, uh, flowing like the river. I feel like there's going to be a lot of clarity for you guys today. Um, most definitely. I feel like someone is speaking truth and clarity. Someone's going to get some clarity today. This is all I have, y'all. Peace.